Yo guys, we are back and today we are going to talk about the tool that I created earlier on this channel which will be of great help if you're into spotting tokens on Twitter and it will work well with a new tool out there, Belief or Create or Launch a Coin on Belief. So if you're into spotting trends early on Twitter or you like token launches, this video is for you. I will show you the tracker. I will show you how you can create your own token on belief using Twitter. And I will also show you what is important if you do so. So if that sounds interesting to you, like the video and let's check it out. All right, so let's talk about belief first. So uh, the best way to check it out is to go to their uh, Twitter page. And uh, that is the bot that they use to launch all the tokens live on Twitter. So as it says here, you can uh, just reply to any tweet or you can create a tweet that contains uh, at launchcoin plus the name. And here they give a bit more information uh, that you can also use the at sign, for example, uh, at ticker plus name to also add a ticker to your coin. But that's how easy that you can uh, create a coin. It's also running on Solana. And I think this is great because it uh, takes away, again, a lot of complexity for people that want to create these tokens. Uh, we saw it with Pump.Fun uh, that made it super easy for people to create a token, to create a coin. And I think uh, this approach is uh, for sure um, at the same level, if not even easier. They also have a uh, website where they publish their app or they have an app for ios but i checked it out it's not that advanced uh you can trade some tokens there but i would not recommend it if you want to trade the tokens i will show you in a minute a better way of trading these tokens and how you can actually find these tokens uh, but it's out there it's called the belief app uh, you can go to belief.app if you want to download it for ios uh, you can just scan the code here they also have a playbook and i link uh, all the links in the description for you so you can go through it where they talk about uh, their vision uh what you can can do if you want to launch a coin if it's even even legal what you can do pre-launch uh, once you launch what are the best ways to launch the best times to launch and they talk about a bit about the legality as well so i will share this link also in the description so you can check it out but it all comes down to the bot here on twitter and as i said uh, before i think it's a really easy way to actually launch these tokens and uh, it's for sure competition for pum.fun i believe um, because it is is a way for users to create tokens in a really smooth and efficient way without too much hassle. So narratives can spin up really quickly, new metas can come in really quickly. So that's why I think that uh, it will drive a lot of momentum. It will drive a lot of a volume back into the market just because people can create these tokens super easy on the fly. All right, so before I show you the actual Twitter tracker and how you can create a token on Twitter, I wanna show you real quick some numbers behind the launch a coin platform and I'm here on a dune dashboard and you can see straight away that they have uh, quite a few big coins already for example goon coin nearing 200 million in uh, volume in usd and there's other ones like dupe yapper and you can also see that it actually started to pop up um, like just a few days ago so there is a lot of momentum now and uh, i believe there's a lot of potential for this platform still um, here it shows the total market cap. I don't know how accurate that is, but uh, something is for sure happening. New tokens are being launched. And what I also think is really interesting, if you go to their website, they have a fact page and there they talk a bit on how they will uh, yeah, keep founders accountable. It says here, while existing launches will remain unchanged, we're actively developing systems to ensure greater accountability. So for me, that translates into less rugs, or that's at least uh, what I believe they try to achieve like uh, people creating tokens and then abandoning the tokens, rugging the tokens. They also talk a bit on how they will combat snipers here by uh, yeah putting the starting fees for transactions really high um, and then gradually go down over time. So if you are a sniper and you snipe these tokens really early, it will not be incentivized from the platform's perspective because the fees in the beginning will be really high. So that said, in combination with that, it is a fairly new platform. I think it will do really good. And I think there is still a lot of upside potential for us people that want to jump into this platform. 
So knowing that, how can we now take advantage of this new platform? As I said, they have an iOS app that you can use to trade these coins. But the better way to do that is, uh, I believe, Axiom. Uh, they have a really great overview for that. So if you go to Axiom, and I will put the link in the description, you just have to click on Pulse. And then under the overview that you see here, there is an icon, uh, a filter icon, actually. And here you can select the protocol that you want to use or that you want to filter for. And uh, you can do it for new pairs, final stretch, and migrate it. And you just have to select launch a coin and then you can see all the coins here that are being launched via the launch a coin platform and as you can see new tokens are coming in it's not as frequent as for example pum.fun but uh, things are for sure happening and you can apply the same filters that you always apply uh, when spotting other tokens so we know that people what they have to do is actually go to uh Twitter and they have to create a new post and then they have to specify the name and also the dollar sign to create a ticker. So that would look something like this at launch coin. And then you have, for example, um, the dollar sign like this, Big Ben, which would be my ticker then, and then plus the name. And we can, for example, do digital Benjamins like this. And if I tweet this now, that will actually yeah, try to create a coin for me. And knowing that, with our Twitter tracker, we can try to capture these tweets from certain profiles. And I'll show you in a minute what I do. So in this Twitter tracker that I have, there is a config file. And here I can specify what I want to do. There is two modes. I can look for tweets from certain users, or I can look at the search timeline of Twitter. And the search timeline of Twitter is just here. If you type, for example, a launch coin, like this you get all the things that are related to LaunchCoin. And there is a latest section where you can see all the latest tweets about LaunchCoin and that include LaunchCoin. And you can also specify this search field a bit more so you get better results. But what we do with this tracker is actually looking at this search timeline and we provide it a query that we want to look for. And we say we want to look at the live timeline so we know that we get the latest tweets back. We can also exclude accounts so we can say uh, to Tweets from LaunchyCoin I don't want to see. I only want to see people tweeting about LaunchyCoin. And I also want to follow only accounts that have minimum 200 followers and that have a blue check mark, uh, yes or no. So by setting this up, I can now run this tracker and under the hood, it will use Puppeteer and also check all these uh, tweets for us and report it back to our tool. There's also functionality to output this in Discord. Uh, but for now, I'm just using the output method uh, console and you can even say if you want a tweet to have a CI uh, or a CA included or not um, so there is a few things that you can specify before you start the bot now to start the bot I just have to type uh, terminal and in terminal I have to type npm run bot twitter and this will start the bot for me and start looking for new tweets related to launch a coin so here you have an example of an account which has uh, 6,000 followers and the account is also like uh, two years old. And here you can say that the tweet is a uh, launch coin Solia and then plus Solia. So we can have a look at this tweet here and uh, see what actually happens. So this person here uh, tried to launch a coin and... Uh, after some time, if everything goes well, you will see that the coin, if it's launched correctly, uh, will appear under the tweet here. So um, you have to maybe refresh a few times. But as you can see here, now you have a link to the tweet, uh, to the coin actually. And if you click on it, that will also provide you a CA. And that CA in Axiom, you should be able to find to see the actual coin. And here you have the coin uh, tradable on Axiom that was just launched just by this tweet here that we tracked. And again, I hope this shows the potential of this Twitter tracker because you can specify the size of the accounts if they are verified. Um, and also you can specify how old the accounts are all this kind of cool stuff and then if they tweet something like this you can jump in really early and then uh, trade them on axiom just as you do before and uh, again you have to always do your own research because a lot of these tokens they uh, will end up in zero as people uh, tend to wreck tokens but uh, it's a good uh, confluence it's a good tool that you can use to uh, get in early to see if people with a certain amount of followers are talking about this kind of tokens so again 
Um, you always have to do your own research, but the tool is there to provide you um, yeah, a way of tracking these launches really early on Twitter. So the code is available in a free version on Discord. I will put the link in the description. There is also a more advanced version in the VIP section of the Discord. If you think that's interesting, you should consider joining our Discord. I will put the link in the description. We talk about Twitter trackers, token hunters, sniper bots, all this kind of cool stuff. And there's also always people there to help you if you have any questions. Uh, so the link will be in the description and I'll hope to see you there.